Hey y'all, welcome to Lisa's Escapades. You can hear the parakeets in the background, they're wild. Um, I just wanted to let you know, I was in a car accident recently, Saturday. My car's pretty messed up, I'm not sure if it's totaled or not. So I'm pretty sore. But um, I'm going to go out and do a local hike today. And maybe we can see some alligators or something. So come with me and let's go see what we see. So in here they have a lot of wild animals that were rehabbed. They can't be released back in the wild and they use them for educational purposes. So that's pretty cool. So this is the stage here where they bring out the birds and they have a educational things on them for the kids and campers that come here to the Cherry Tomlin campground. Um, this place is a great place to bring your kids. They'll learn a lot for sure and there's a lot of interactive um, things you can buy in the gift shop. We'll go in there at the very end. And of course, I already bought a sticker that I'll show you at the end. You can see here how large these palm fronds really get. I mean, this is like my shoulder and it's still going up. And I'm 5'5". Five five. Yeah, this is the way Florida used to look before all the condos and Everything else went up. Looks like an old tortoise hole. Don't think he's there anymore. I know, have no idea where I'm at. Trying to make my way to the lake though, so maybe we can see some wild animals or some crocodiles or something. Not crocodiles, but alligators. 
I don't think there's any crocodiles in this part of Florida. Another tortoise hole there. The good thing is they have these shelters here that provide water. Because in the summertime, it's blazing hot out here. These here are beauty berries. They are edible in small amounts. Large amounts can make you sick. So it's still good to know for when you're in the wilderness and you can't find your way out. There are rattlesnakes out here, so you gotta be careful with that. Look at that old spooky tree. This place is just loaded with gore. The go for tortoises everywhere I see their holes. What a great place to live for them. You can see there's some old limestone roads back in here. There used to be a lot of homesteads back in here in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Look at the beautiful ferns through here. That's so lush. Very pretty. So you can see some of these birds are just swimming in the water. And I know this lake is full of gators, but then you got the smarter birds on the limbs and on the fake bird that are staying out of the water. But uh, yeah, I know they're here, I've seen them. I'm hoping I can see one today. It is kind of cool and windy, so I don't know. The water might be warmer than the air, so they may be staying down. Pretty cool. Wow, 
Wow, look how windy it's getting. No gators. And this is just a dead end. Over here just scared the mess out of me. Got a big mouth. Sitting right in the water with the gators. That's one brave bird. This is interesting to know about native plants and invasive plants. You can pause it and read it if you want. I'm, I'm not going to bother reading it to you and boring people that are not interested, but it is pretty cool. It's hard to believe there's a, this much acreage of wilderness just outside the city of St. Petersburg, Florida, but um, there is. Kind of cool. I'm glad somebody saved it. So literally, you can see the cattails right there. We're only, I don't know, maybe 200 feet from the lake. So, you know, there could be gators in here that came up on shore and are sitting, but I don't think so right now. But you still got to keep your eyes open because you never know. They could be just sitting there. Most of the time, they just sit there and do nothing, but they can do something if they want to. See, that's literally the lake where the tree is right there. Doing the, restoring the habitat right there with that machinery. Clearing this area out right here for some reason. Maybe there's too much growth. But yeah, that's the machine he's using. Pretty cool. And that's a big pine tree that went down there. I love all these old, old uh, live oak trees that we have in Florida and they have the moss hanging out off of them. They kind of make the forest look spooky, but they have a lot of history here. Very cool.
It's so beautiful out here. There's a lot of people out here today too, which is good. A lot of people getting their steps in. I'm seeing a lot of old glass out here. This probably used to be an old dump site. And I noticed right over here, there's one of those old bricks. So you can see material where they used, old, used it for old bricks out here. Some place they dumped trash before with this blue glass. So I know there's alligators in here, but I don't see any. I think they're all staying underwater. It's just too cold for them. It's in the 60s here and they're cold blooded, so they're probably just sitting underneath. This cool contraption. Nice looking armandilla made out of metal recycled parts that's pretty cool huh there's just trails all through here pretty cool oh and that glass I found I found a big clump that was burnt so that used to be like a dumping area back in the day they used to run cattle through here in the 1800s, the late 1800s, all the way up the street into downtown. So this was probably somebody's farmland and they probably had a dump on it. So I must admit, I'm hurting pretty good from that car accident so I'm gonna call it a day here if I see somebody something else I'll come back on and when we get to the gift shop I'll turn it back on and show you what they have in there this small one. red gotcha. shoulders she's gorgeous what do you want yep she's doing very good Just to give you an idea of how strong these birds are, red tail hawks anyway. Yes. Any of you guys ever do the grip thing with your hand? Yeah. Okay, well I can barely hit 50. That's on a good day. She's probably about eight to nine months old or so, maybe 10 months old. Birds are all strict carnivores. Absolutely beautiful. And you said this one was hatched here? Yeah, she's a local, local girl. I don't know exactly where the nest is. Oh, gotcha. But I mean, um, she's not banded, and I'm sure neither parent are banded. And that, all we know is she's, you know, north side of St. Pete area. So will she go back into the wild or no? Because she was hand raised. No, she's she's blind in her right eye. Oh, okay. She's got a detached retina. Aww. And you can't fix that. She was, yeah. she was hit by a car. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. You weren't here for the, yeah. for the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, she was found that makes sense. the area of 275 in Gandhi on the side of the road showing head trauma signs where she was rescued. Well, she's lucky. And she ended up at Seaside Bird Sanctuary. And she was there for roughly six weeks. Uh, luckily... Um, they're assuming it was hit by a cop. Yeah, I'm sure that's probably what it was. But uh, she had no other, she had no broken bones. Just the concussion, the hip trauma. And because of that, she ended up with a detached retina in her 
right eye, so she's blind in that eye. But she seems to have no lasting neurological effects from the head trauma, which is good. That is very good. That garbage attracts insects, rodents, things they eat. So when they're hunting, they're on the hunt, they have like tunnel vision. That's all they see is that rat over there. So they'll swoop down, and if a car should be coming at that moment, they get hit. Yep. Here's the sticker I got at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. Um, it kind of looks like the area that I was in, but uh, I wanted you to see what I did by in the gift shop. And um, yeah, that place is pretty cool. And I hear that there's some older 1800 buildings there somewhere. Um, I'm going to have to find out where next time I go there. If you like what you see, please subscribe and thank you for watching. I appreciate you all and I love you all. And until next time, I'll see you then. I'm stuck on repeat. I see the same skies every night. Oh, I need a sign. I need a reason why I'm alive Cause I can figure out why